Hello? Jimmy. Yeah? John Davidson and Lanny McDonald calling you from the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto. How you doing? OMG. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my God. Well, I got a phone call a couple of hours ago and it was uh, probably the most humbling experience that I've, I've had in my hockey career. It's uh, certainly a great honor and an exciting uh, day for, for me and my family. Leslie, you ready to go? Okay. Ready? I'm ready. You gotta feed the dogs. I just set it here. Come on, Coco. Coco, come on. Okay, good girl. That's a good girl. There you go, baby. That's a good girl. Okay, you be good girls. Good girls, okay, all set. I'm really happy that my family's gonna be there, Leslie and my daughter Andrea and son James and, and the rest of uh, Leslie's family, my sister, and then of course the friends and associates that I've had over the years. That's one of the nice things about one of these events, it can bring uh, some of these people together. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Hockey Hall of Fame's Great Hall for the 2019 Inductee Media Conference and Ring Presentation. The first inductee in the builder category has been building winning teams for more than 30 years. The Hockey Hall of Fame is pleased to welcome Jim Rutherford as an honored member. Come on up, Jim. Congratulations. Want to try that KD on? Sure. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Does it blow you away that 15 years from now somebody's going to be sitting in that same seat and go, oh my God, there's Jimmy Rutherford and have these same stories to tell? Well, they're not because they tucked me over here in the corner. <laughs> well, when he but, gets over there. But whenever they eventually walk around there. <laughs> I think the biggest thing is that uh, my son and daughter and grandkids and that can come at some point in time and say there's uh, there's my dad ladies and gentlemen the Toronto Maple Leafs are honored to host the 22nd annual Hockey Hall of Fame game what do you think of all this buddy pretty big weekend huh yeah, yeah? are you excited yeah tonight we will welcome for the first time the 2019 Hall of Fame induction class in the builders category 2019 Hockey Hall of Fame inductee, Jim Rutherford. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Hockey Hall of Fame induction class. Being here for the Hall of Fame weekend is really cool. I will say I got a little choked up when uh, when the video started, and I thought this is gonna be a long weekend, but it's all good emotions. Today, a very special day for them and for you to be here to share with them as they receive their Hockey Hall of Fame jackets. Hockey Hall of Famer in the Builders category, Mr. Jimmy Rutherford. Are you guys playing on the same line? Yes, we are. Can you not get her the puck? I'm, I'm I got her. I have her for two goals. So. Okay. You gotta go, give her a chance. Right? Go back yeah. to her, I'll, a hard face. They all think I'm shooting anyway. Makes it look too easy. Makes it look too easy, huh? Pretty nice. We have too many men. Six That's That's okay. That was part of the plan. This is a real special occasion for us. We're all excited. I'm a little bit nervous, of course, because 
I'm going to probably have the toughest seven minutes of my career coming up and making this speech to hopefully make sure that I don't miss anybody because there's so many people that have helped me throughout my career and uh, I've thought about this for a long time and uh, hopefully we can get it right but it's uh, it's going to be a wonderful night. Looking good. Good job. And welcome to this historic night for hockey, the Hockey Hall of Fame induction ceremonies. You can't help but feel a sense of excitement when you come into this building or to be captivated by the grandeur that it exudes. Jim, as a player, as a builder, as a GM, as NHL Executive of the Year, three Stanley Cups, welcome to the Hall to present Jim Rutherford's Hall of Fame plaque from the 1997 Hall of Fame class, Mario Lemieux. It's been quite a journey playing in a small rink on youth teams to get to the Hockey Hall of Fame. I want to thank the most important people in my life, my wife Leslie. Thank you for your loving and supporting me, for understanding me, and for always knowing what to say in stressful times when I have to make really tough decisions. To Andrea, thank you for your unconditional love. You supported me and stood by me through the changes in my life. And to James, thank you for all those trades that you recommended me making. And if we could actually make those trades, you'll probably be standing here someday. After receiving an unexpected phone call in 14 from David Morehouse, my time in Pittsburgh has been the highlight of my career. I always loved the city when I played there and I got to return. What I've learned the most in my life and my advice to people is, don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Because that was the story of my career. And the more they told me I couldn't do things, the more it turned out that I did. Thank you and God bless.